Far was awesome, but we're done with that, and now we are off to split. Well, the 11.30 and the 1.30 ferry ride to split with having a car are sold out, even though we are kind of told that they never sell out, but they're sold out. So we bought a 5.30 ticket, but that means that we're just basically killing a day here waiting. So we're gonna try to pop on the 130. We're just gonna um, 11:30. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna pull up and see if there's any room after all the cars that have the 5:30. I mean, the 11:30 the, uh, tickets get on, and then we'll see if we can get on. If we can, that's great. If not, we'll have to drive around and find something to do. We'll go to the beach. They have little showers at the beach for five kunin. So we'll just go sit at the beach and read and then shower and change and get on the ferry. It wouldn't be a total loss. Right, right. Well, we always find something to do. Well, we got lucky. They found room for us on the, on the 1130 ship. So we really got lucky. Well, we are the second to last car to get on. And I'm feeling a bit blessed right now that we actually made it on this boat. Well, we are in split, we're in our room, and I'm just gonna show you real quickly the view from the room, because that's the cool part, right, Robin? Yeah. Gotta have a view. Well, Robin, Robin is excited because there's markets, right? Always a market. took this ancient building and they filled it with stuff to sell. They have a sphinx here too. Kind of reminds me of the one in Egypt. That's the extent of the problem. So we're facing this wall of the palace, the south. this as a basement for the food storage. That way up there was the first door that they came in when they were excavating the, the palace. Yeah, they don't try any more trash these days. So the show, Game of Thrones, some of it was actually filmed in this room right here. Oh, the bricks almost look like Tetris. They weren't completely straight because it would help with earthquakes. And there's no cement in between. Everything perfectly sits together. It's a sarcophagus. Yeah, we have tons of sarcophagus. Drainage. Yeah, drainage system. The Roman houses was always a round chamber as a pre-entrance or something very special. You could really hear it extremely loud right here. It's like vibration. It's a guess of that, no, right? No, no modifies your sound. That's why I'm feeling our stereo system coming 360. The smaller one is made in Egypt 295. The bigger one is made eight years later here in Croatia. This is called Tetra Drachma, so four drachmas. This is called Folis. Two of these Folis would be daily wage for farmer men, ten of this would be daily wage for some good occupation like the doctor or engineer. This is to keep polyvoil. Why? Because if you 
the old school people on islands and villages, they still keep olive oil in a small limestone container. Because if you keep olive oil in a glass bottle, it will be preserved only up to one year. If you keep olive oil preserved in limestone container, it will be preserved two or three years. Yeah, we discovered 16 different types of rocks here using for decoration of his palace. Don't worry, it's just pigeons now. residential area people live all around so you can see one of the things that's unique about this palace is that people actually live here and this structure you know it's not thousands of years old but people actually live here and you can see um, they even have made some of these into like bed and breakfasts and stuff like that but they're into medieval structures so it's pretty cool that it's one of the few places we have ruins but actually people physically live there. There used to be a dome up there and you'll see that there's four sections here because there was four emperors at one time. Everybody who wanted to see the emperor must come only on this square, lay down on the floor, put the full body down like this, because no one was allowed to be on the same level as the son of the god. So this is Let Me Pass Street. It's very narrow. Croatian language means steep, means under, shoto, under. So steam under. That's a dessert made of eggs. For the black plague. Just ahead from one of the sphinxes that we saw earlier. So someone just took it, put it on their house years ago. So now they got a three and a half thousand year old sphinx head on their house. Interesting fountain. I don't know that you can get it from here, but that, that's a pretty big fountain. Love the night view from our hotel room. Pretty cool. We are at a vegan restaurant. when you can find a vegan restaurant in a foreign country. Nothing like vegan pasta and crispy tofu. Right, Robin? Yeah. That's an interesting store right there. We've got some pretty cool street art, art here. So we're getting ready to leave Split and to move on. But before we do, we're going to go take a look at this lookout and then I might fly the drone later. So. You'll see the drone footage if I actually do that, but we're also looking around the town. There's some pretty, pretty cool street art around, and uh, just a really cool place because it's just so ancient. It's just so old, and people live here. It's pretty, pretty cool. Hey, little kitties. We just found this old Jewish uh, cemetery that our tour guide actually told us about yesterday, but we were just walking up the top of the hill for the view. And um, I can't remember the details, but I remember the guy's last name is Rodriguez. And uh, he was a merchant here. Oh, they left here because they were being persecuted, the Jews in Spain and Portugal. So they came here, there's a little Jewish quarter in uh, the palace. And um, 
Uh, he built a quarantine or something, and the money he made with the quarantine, he, he wanted it so that he could build a Jewish cemetery because cemeteries are very important for the Jewish people, and we just happened upon it. Check out this view. street art here cool stuff look at that another vegan restaurant there's a lot of vegan restaurants here legend says if you make a wish and rub this guy's toe it comes true all right we are done with split and now we're heading to a national park called Krika, which is supposed to be a beautiful waterfall here and we're gonna check it out right robin yeah 